the star that is closest to Earth sends a constant stream of visible and invisible light in every direction. Some of it comes hurtling through space towards Earth till suddenly... It's investigated by a group of after-school children. In Sunlight Science, children investigate light that comes to us from that huge ball of gas that we call the sun. The learning goal for the Sunlight Science Kit is that sunlight is made of light we can see, but it's also made of light we can't see, like ultraviolet or infrared light. In this kit, the children investigate both visible and invisible parts of sunlight using instruments that extend our senses, like this thermometer they use in session one. It's important to tell the kids never to look directly at the sun, even when they're wearing sunglasses. The kids should never reflect the sunlight in each other's eyes when using the mirrors or CDs during the activities. That same star that heats up our planet can damage your eyes. In every session, you take the kids outside. In session one, you show them a scale model of the sun. The leader has hidden the scale model Earth. These children are searching for it. Earth! Okay, so raise your hand. How is it tiny? <laughs> The kids work with their partner and go to four activity stations to investigate the warmth from sunlight. They each try to feel the difference when their hand is in the sunlight and when it's in the shade. They compare the warmth inside a black paper mitt and a white paper mitt when they're in sunlight. They see what happens to the temperature when sunlight is reflected onto a thermometer with a mirror. They see if they can tell when sunlight is reflected onto their hand with a mirror. Part of the sunlight on this hand is visible. That's the light you're seeing. Another part of the light is invisible, infrared light. This session investigates this invisible part of sunlight, infrared light. We can't see infrared light, but we can feel it as warmth. In session two, they investigate the part of sunlight we can see. They make rainbows, paying attention to what colors are visible in sunlight. The sunlight we can see is white, but it's got all the colors of light mixed in it. When certain things, like a drop of water in the air, gets between us and the sun, it splits this white light into a rainbow of colors. The kids investigate the colors in visible light at three activity stations. With their backs to the sun, they use mist from spray bottles to make rainbows in the sunlight. At one station, one partner shines sunlight through a light splitter to make rainbows, while the other partner draws the colors and rainbow shapes they see. At a different station, kids take turns having one partner shine sunlight from a CD to bounce sunlight onto white paper to make rainbows, while the other draws the colors and shapes of these rainbows. These shapes can be very interesting. Afterwards, the kids compare the rainbows they just made with a typical drawing of a rainbow. How is this rainbow different from a real rainbow? In session three, using sunprint paper, the children investigate a part of sunlight that we can't see or feel. First, they do a test print with a paper clip on sunprint paper and discover that the blue paper fades to a whitish color, except under the paper clip where it stays blue. Immediately after removing the paper clip, they swish the paper in water for about 30 seconds. First the print fades, and then it comes back, but with the colors switched. Next, children collect leaves, twigs, or anything that's pretty flat and fits on their paper to make a sun print they can take home. When they go back indoors, they learn that the sun prints were made by an invisible part of light called ultraviolet light, or UV light for short. Since sun print paper changes color when UV light hits it, it's important to keep the sun print paper in its ultraviolet resistant bag until just before it's used. The session ends with this picture on a question card. The picture shows the rainbow of visible light that the kids investigate in session two, but it also shows parts of the rainbow that are invisible to us, like the infrared light they investigate in session one and the ultraviolet light that they investigate in sessions three and four. Speaking of session four, they investigate ultraviolet light again, this time using UV beads. UV beads are white, but turn red when UV light hits them. When they are taken away from UV light, they turn white again. The children use the beads to test different things like cloth, sunglasses, aluminum foil, clear plastic, and sunscreen to see if they block UV light. They get their investigations ready in a shady spot, then they do their tests in the sunlight. The kit has most of the stuff you need to do the sessions, but it doesn't have the sun, so you've got to pay attention to the weather. Sessions one and two need sunny days. Sessions three and four can be done on cloudy or sunny days. You can switch the order of the sessions if the sun isn't cooperating. You just can't do sunlight science without sunlight, and you got to get that from that huge ball of gas in the sky. The, the sun. sun. Funding provided by Oracle, the Noyce Foundation, the S.D. Bechtel Jr. Foundation, the David and Lucille Packard Foundation, the Stephen Bechtel Fund, 
and NASA, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration.